What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today I'm going to let you know what the best strategy is for leveling up to level 30 in The Division 2. Now there really is no way to power level that anybody knows of yet, but this is the best way to do it, so by the time you reach the end of the campaign, you will be very close, if not over, level 30 for endgame. So what you are going to want to do is completely ignore the side missions for now. The experience you gain from side missions scales to your level and in the beginning levels we're talking almost 55% hike every time you gain another level so if you look here this is a level 3 character and if I do the side mission right now I will only gain 1,935 XP now you go up one level these are worth 2,970 XP and then you skip all the way up to level 8 and thank you to my good chubby little Canadian buddy Devin for letting me go ham on his account so I can make this video but then it goes up to 9810 experience so basically what I am trying to say is is that side missions are going to be your bread and butter try and get as high as level as you can just by doing the regular missions even if you are a little bit under leveled for them you can still get through them just match make and you will most likely be fine getting through them because although the story missions are repeatable you will not gain experience from them the second time you play through but other than that then you have the control points which which also do scale to your level, but they do not give you quite as much XP as side missions do. And as a level 3, it's 972 experience gained from finishing it, and then the next boost from there up to level 4 is 1,493. Now it still is about a 54-55% increase, but it's still kind of low, so maybe ignore those for a little while if you can, if, if you have to do them to get some extra experience, but you're better off trying to plow through those than you are the side missions. Save the side missions, because once you start hitting that level 20, level 25, you are going to be looking upon thousands upon thousands of experience needed to get your next levels, and those side missions are really, really, really going to come in handy if you save them. Other than that, when you're in the lower levels that are pretty easy to get through, you have your projects, which also do scale to you, but they do not scale up as high as the side missions do so when you're running around in your lower levels you know disrupt public executions and all that other stuff to start getting those ready to go off and as you're doing the little question marks on the map you're going to be leveling up and whatnot because in the lower levels it does not take that much to reach new levels either way just play the game the way you want to play it have fun go out there and have fun this is a bit more of a strategical way to know that when you hit the end game you are going to be at level 30 or you will be nearing it very closely so so whatever you do, don't be like Chrono and have nothing to do on your map and be stuck at level 8. I'm just kidding, buddy. And one of the most important things I almost forgot about is once you hit level 3 or level 4 and you unlock your first safe house, go around, pick up Shade Tech, and then go back to the Quartermaster and start unlocking all of your XP perks. It won't give you a ton of experience from it, but it's enough, and it's an extra tiny little boost that can definitely help but anyways that's it just wanted to get this out there like i said thank you to my buddy devin for letting me use his account uh i will not be able to play it till friday so i probably won't be able to make much more tips and tricks videos on it until then but after that you better believe i will be digging pretty deep into this game and find out tips and tricks and whatever else i can and post for you guys if there is anything else you would like to know uh, let me know in the comment section down below or if this helped out or any of that other stuff hit the old like button that would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you could. I hope you guys have fun, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace!